I am speaking to the one, the only, Mr. Brent Leary from CRM Essentials. And Brent, you had just finished a study last month uh, about uh, small, medium-sized businesses, and you asked them tons of questions about social, mobile, whatnot, and CRM. And you have some discoveries specifically to integration and mobile. What were they? Well, I did a. I partnered on the study with the SMB Group, which is partnered by Sanjay Vargwal and Laurie McCabe. And so we came together last year, we did a, a social business study uh, of about 750 folks, and we saw some really interesting uh, patterns, some categorization around how small businesses can be either strategically using social and mobile and all the and newer technologies versus more informal. We followed that up with this year's study and we found some really interesting things, uh, particularly when you look at integration. So how are they uh, integrating social into some of the traditional aspects of business around customer acquisition or uh, customer service or marketing. And what we found is that the companies that were, first of all, more strategic in nature, so they, they're they thinking in terms of how does this impact the whole organization, how does this impact the, the customer relationship, and how do we bring it all together. So they're a little more strategic in nature in thought and then also in uh, using these kind of technologies. So what we found is those that are like that are more likely to be integrating at the application level. So they're integrating social into the CRM application. They're integrating social into marketing automation. They're integrating social into customer service. And the ones that are doing that are about two or three times more likely to see positive benefit from using social tools to, because of the integration and the, the way that they can bring the organization together, have the organization working more collaboratively uh, from a process perspective, but also from a product perspective. And they're seeing some really nice size benefits. Uh, one of the interesting ones was they are about 40% more likely to, to think they're going to have greater revenues in the uh, upcoming year as, as opposed to the ones who are more ad hoc in nature. And then the ones who aren't even really using social from a business perspective, they're even further behind. So that, that, it was just really obvious to see. And then the other thing is the ones who are more strategic in nature are leveraging mobile not just from a uh, productivity standpoint, but also from a marketing and, and a brand building perspective. They know that they have to create content that looks good on a mobile device. Um, a lot of e-commerce is actually being driven from uh, like the iPad. So they know that if they're trying to build relationships and if they're trying to actually sell things, they have to include mobility in their strategy. So that's what they're doing. All right, I'm gonna ask you a hard question. Uh, and the last one. If I only got a little bit of money, and I got to integrate or I got to go mobile, what should I be doing? If you got to integrate or go mobile, I would say you, you want to you start with mobile because one of the things that is, is you just walk around and you look at these conferences, you talk to people, everybody has at least one or two mobile devices and they're like this, they're looking down at it constantly, they're, they're always taking information in. So I always say if you really want to build relationships and get the customers eating out of your hand, you really have to get in the palm of their hand first. So you have to come with a mobile strategy, engage them where they are, and then build from there. Awesome, Brent, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me.